We're joined by Ronald Perry of Lockhaven. Um, as a reminder, the, uh, the press conference is being transcribed off-site, so please raise your hand and wait for the mic to ask a question and identify yourself and your news outlet. Get the question started right here. Mike Pinter win. Ronald, how many people in Lockhaven believed you'd be a finalist? Uh, maybe, maybe three. Four. Three, four. Me, uh, my coaches, so that's three. Me and my parents, my girlfriend, a couple of friends. Yeah, actually, you know, I think more than I thought, maybe. Question over there. Uh, Nick Corey, Track Wrestling. Uh, congratulations. Um, Try to put into words, I know it's got to be difficult, but try to put into words what you're going through right now mentally. And you're, you're an NCAA finalist coming in as a 15 seed. Um, I think they just announced over the loudspeaker that's unprecedented. Um, try, try to put into words for us, Ronnie, uh, what, you, what you're going through. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to let it settle in right now, obviously. It's an amazing feeling. It's something that I never thought I would feel, to be honest, um, until kind of this year. It's something that it was definitely a goal of mine. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's pretty crazy right now. I don't think it's gonna get super real until tomorrow, maybe. But uh, I'm just trying to do my best to stay relaxed and stay focused and go one match at a time. That one right here. Um, it seems like obviously, you know, it wasn't like you had an easy road to uh, the finals. Talk through kind of each individual match or how you've prepped after having such big wins and you've being able to kind of come off that emotional high and then come right back into your next match and compete again. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, the main thing with, as far as the wrestling part goes was just staying relaxed. I think a couple of times this year during the season I, I got nervous because I put that pressure on myself and sometimes I don't always deal with that well. So um, me coming, coming into it, I didn't have anything to lose uh, compared to the guys I was wrestling, especially other all -Ameri previous All-Americans. Like I, I don't have anything to lose. I, I never did it before. So it was staying relaxed and then after getting those big wins, just going back to the hotel, turning my phone off a little bit and just relaxing. Because you get a lot of stuff happening on Twitter, all the social media sites. So it was important for me to just kind of set my phone aside and just relax a little bit and focus up for the next match. Can you walk us, Jeff Olson from PA Power Wrestling, can you walk us through the last 30 seconds of that match? Because, I mean, for, for a second there, it looked a little, a little dicey for you, but you were able to turn it on at the right time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I forget how I gave up that takedown, the, la uh, the late takedown. I just, uh, I don't know. I think I just... Something, it was a feel because it went from me feeling like I was going to get a takedown to getting taken down. So, I mean, that was kind of frustrating, but we, we kind of went out of bounds right there next to my coaches, and they just, hey, one and two. It's all, like, what else am I going to do at that point? So, I just tried to get, get right back up, and I got, he got caught with that leg in, so that was tough, but I don't know, just keep wrestling. And I stuck to my game plan the whole time, which is just move, kind of stay outside. He's a good hand fighter, and I know he's, uh, Real hard to finish on. He's a tough kid to finish on, especially when you're in on his legs. So uh, I knew I had to get something that was going to be clean and, and a quick finish. So that's what we did. Got time for about one more question here. Mike Willis, USA Wrestling. Uh, talk about the mentality in the Lock Haven locker room and talk about the feeling you guys had when you won EWLs. Um, I think the mentality has gone, uh, it's, it's getting better every year. I mean, guys are now expecting themselves to win, which I think wasn't always there to begin with like right when we got there it was oh like cool you got a big win today or whatever but no one was expecting those big wins and I think lately it's been uh all right we're here to show up and wrestle and get it done and uh I mean the EWL championship was awesome because it had never happened in 20 something years so that, that was really good and it's good for the whole program the program as a whole I mean getting recruits in and uh getting donors and a, a bunch of stuff like that so it was it was really cool as far as a team to accomplish that, especially with the group of guys we have. Everybody's so fun to be around. All right. Thanks, Ronald. Thank Good you. luck in the finals.